I can't say enough good things. I'm running out of superlatives to describe autobionics. <laughs> Hello, everyone, um, and welcome to the first user talk of 2021 uh, with Beverly Gormley. Hello, Bev. Hello. Well, it's fantastic <laughs> to speak to you again. How, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. That's such a, an amazing start to a really awful morning. <laughs> It's been the most positive experience. I just cannot describe it really in adequate words. I don't think I've ever really had any positive experiences at limb centres, at NHS limb centres. And I think the Open Bionics offices and the whole team have just completely changed that. You know, it's been such a, a positive experience for me. And it, it was just fascinating to see the process and what goes into it and to actually meet some of you know, the real people behind the product, um, really, it was just brilliant. I remember it must have been about five years ago, I saw, I think on Facebook, there was, there was some video clip um, when Open Bionics must have just first started. I remember being completely in awe of what these arms could do and how they looked and the whole ethos you know, of open bionics seemed to ooze through the screen. It was it was fantastic. And I just remember thinking, one day I'm gonna have one of those. And it just sort of I followed you, you know, over those few years until it got to this point where I thought, I'm in pain, I'm not happy with my old arm. It was just a cosmetic arm. What have I got to lose? You know? <laughs> and that's the, the point I'm at now where I've got it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that I would change about the Hero Arm. It's it's perfect for me. Um, I've, I've taken to it like a duck to water. And I know that it's slightly different for me because I couldn't get one of the muscles to work, the one that opens the hand. So it's all done by the one muscle that usually would just close the hand. And I really appreciate, you know, that little tweak I mean, to you, it's probably nothing. It's probably so simple, but it means such a lot to me to know that I can do it in that way. We have Catan nights on Wednesday night, but I never win. But that the big thing for me, as you can see, I mean, that, that's just a few of our um, board games. But the big thing about being able to hold cards is unbelievable. And it's something I, I probably wouldn't have thought of. But now actually being able to hold those cards has made such a difference. It's just a much more enjoyable experience and it's such a little thing, but yeah, it makes a huge difference. Um, it's, oh, how do you describe it? It's a bit like rugby. It's a full com contact sport. It's played on an, an oval track. Um, you've got two teams and basically, a person is the ball. There's no actual ball in roller derby, but you've got a person called the jammer who you have to help through the pack um, and round the track while the opposing team is trying to knock them down, knock them off the track. It's a really empowering sport because you've got people of all shapes and sizes, genders, abilities. Um, it's been a real eye opener and it, it's just a fantastic sport that's really inclusive even though it's so full on, you know, it just makes you feel like you're a superhero on the track. There's nothing I wanted to ask, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody. I mean, I hope that you can see how, you know, positively everything that you do has affected me and I'm only one person, you know, and I really, really appreciate it. I really do. It's, it's been such a fantastic experience. Thank you for having me. <laughs>